And then the rest of everything, um, these are packed full of samples and things. Um, I haven't opened these yet. I wanted to open them. I wanted to open them with you guys um, so we could experience it together. And I'm going to start with this little bundle here. I will try to edit out all of the, all of the parts where I'm open, opening package, packages. I will edit out. Oh, so these are um, decants from Max Aroma, which if you can believe it, I've never ordered anything from, from Max Aroma yet. I don't know why. Um, it's crazy. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, okay, so this is a Lardasan fragrance. This is a, and they call them pocket perfumes. <laughs> Super cute. This is Lardasan Mon Numero 10. Um, these are 8 mil decants in these little atomizers. Um, okay, and you do need to keep it in its little box because it's not marked anywhere else. That is good to know so I don't throw the box away. This immediately, I immediately got like very cozy vibes from this. Super, super cozy. I have no idea what's in this. I'm getting, I'm getting almost Coca-Cola vibes from this. It's really strange. I'm also getting something kind of herbaceous and woody. But yeah, kind of like an herbaceous, woody Coca-Cola fragrance. Gosh, that's gorgeous. So that is Lardasan uh, Mon Numero 10. I am super excited to give that a wear. Okay, next we have one that I have been dying to get my nose on for years. Thank you for this. Oh my gosh. This is Frederick Mal Lipstick Rose, and I seriously have been dying to get my nose on this fragrance for years, but it's just never really been accessible to me. So I am so thankful for this to be able to, oh my gosh, to be able to smell this. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. It is a powdery, lipsticky rose. It's like, um, it's like replica lipstick on, but this is like way amped up. It's, and the rose is very, very present. It's a beautiful, crisp, true rose and then with that kind of makeup-y powdery probably like violet iris um, heliotrope it's oh it's beautiful it's a makeup-y rose fragrance it's stunning and it of course is like wow with as far as like the the quality and I'm sure this is going to be an absolute beast and projectally crazy. Yeah, because the quality is just incredible. Oh gosh, that is so good. So that is Frederick Mal Lipstick Rose, one that I've been wanting to get my nose on for years. Thank you. I'm so excited to be able to give this one a good wear test. And I'm going to get on Max Aroma now because I didn't realize that they had decants of like of I don't know I just need to explore more um okay uh next we have a Tiziana Ter uh, is it Terezi or Terenzi Terezi this is called Gold Rose Oud which I have never heard of this one before but it's rose so I am very very intrigued I love a rose perfume Oh, wow. That gave me like, that is another one that immediately gave me like cozy, cozy feels for sure. That's a beautiful rose and oud fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Beautiful, beautiful quality too. That's such a good oud. Oh my 
I love, as soon as it gets to be like this time of year, I start to crave those kind of dark oud fragrances because they are so cozy. They're so cozy. So anyways, that is um, Tiziana. I thought it was Terenzi, but it might be Terezi. Uh, Gold Rose Oud, gorgeous. Okay, um, let's go into the other one that's just in a little. I just saw one that I've, another one I've been dying to smell. I'm so grateful. Yeah, and I know there are a lot of you guys out there that love to see these videos, so I love to be able to film them for you. Um, they're so fun. It's like we get to have a little treasure hunt together. <laughs> I love it. So this is the one I spotted immediately that I've been dying to get my nose on. This is Carner Barcelona Sweet William. I've been so curious about this fragrance for so long. And I haven't been able to get my nose on it. I haven't been able to find a sample, so. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am like head over heels in love with Carner Barcelona fragrances. There's just something about them that my nose loves. My skin also loves them. There's something super, cit it's like very citrusy to begin with. This is one I'm gonna need to try on my skin because I just know it will jive with my chemistry really well. And I just need to get, get it on my skin. Yeah, I'm getting like a beautiful floral in the middle. Maybe it almost smells like magnolia. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like citrusy and then I'm pretty sure that's magnolia in the middle. It's gorgeous. It's a light, airy, bright, soothing, gorgeous. So that is Sweet William. I'm going to try to not talk as much because we'll be here forever if I, if I do. Um... Ooh, next we have, I'm not sure who this is, who this is. Um, maybe you guys can tell me. I don't know why it has such trouble. Some days it just has trouble and it just won't focus. So anyways, this is called Agar Musk. I will look it up and I will of course have everything on the screen for you. Ooh, that's really, really interesting. It's, um... It's like a beautiful, clean musk with, I'm, I'm pretty sure, oud. It's like a woody musk. Really, really pretty. Okay, next we have this, that same house. And this one is called The New Paradise. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that is super, like, very strong. I'm getting a very strong um, green note. Like, very strong, crisp green. It's like the pith of an orange or a lemon or a citrus fruit. It's very, very dry and tart and sour smelling. Very green, citrusy, but more green. Like, it almost smells like crushed leaves or something. That's really beautiful. That's a gorgeous, very strong green fragrance. Okay, next we've got O oh, uh, de, de Tali. I'm saying that wrong. It's like de Italy. <laughs> and this is called Jasmine Leather. Oh wow, I'm usually not a fan of leather fragrances, but this is immediately so smooth. And there's a gorgeous sweetness to that jasmine. And I'm almost getting some berries. I've almost, I'm almost getting berry notes. That's really gorgeous. I'm definitely, it's got a very prominent leather note. It's a really good quality leather note though. Oh, that's a good one. I wouldn't buy a full bottle of it because I'm not a fan of leather like that, but it's beautiful. Okay, this is another of that same house. It's just, it's a it's a little M and it's like, I've seen it in my brain before. I know I know who that is. I just can't. Who it is? This one is called Hand in Hand Rose and Oud. And I love a good Rose and Oud fragrance. Wow. 
That one is super classy smelling, super classy. It's, um, I'm also, or I'm almost getting like a leather vibe from this too. Yeah, like a leather or a suede note for sure. Yeah, there's definitely something. It's like a very smooth leathery suede. Okay, next we have got Nikolai Parfumer and this is uh, Patchouli Intense. I think I've smelled this before. I think it's beautiful. It is, this is like a, It's like a kind of a slightly sweet patchouli. It's like a patchouli berry kind of fragrance. Really beautiful. I don't know if I have smelled that one actually. Okay, and this is a house I've never smelled anything from, so I'm excited about this. This is from Naomi Goodsir, and this is called Queer Velours, and I've never smelled anything from this house, so. Oh my goodness, is that gorgeous. Wow, that's almost like a, there's something kind of nostalgic smelling about this. This is smooth powdery. It also gives me leather vibes. <laughs> Maybe I have like an, a leather, like leather stuck in my nose, but I swear I'm getting leather from this too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a leather or a suede note in this as well. That's really, really beautiful, very good quality. Okay, let's get into this bag here. Um, whoa, she labeled everything, so. Oh, awesome, she labeled everything and taped, um, taped the samples together, so that's amazing. So this is, um, these are Sarah Baker samples, and I'm really excited. Um, I've only smelled a couple things from Sarah Baker. Yeah, I'm so excited. Actually, I think I've only smelled, um, I think I've only smelled one, maybe, from Sarah Baker. Okay, so we have got a Jungle Jezebel, which this one I've heard mixed things about. I think it's kind of one of those fragrances. It's like a cult classic. People either really, really love it or really, really hate it. Um, Oh wow, it's um, it's animalic. It's a very, very animalic. It's kind of sweet. It's almost sweet in that it's got like a sweet, like caramel kind of thing, but that is incredibly animalic. I can't imagine that many people like that one because it's so animalic. Um, okay, next one we have is called Leopard. And I'm excited about this. That's really beautiful. I can't even tell what I'm smelling in that. It's very, very smooth and very well-rounded. I mean, or very well-blended. Um, there are a couple things that are peeking out, but I can't really tell what they are. Maybe rose, maybe rose, and maybe something a little bit green. That one's really beautiful though. I really like that one. It's called Leopard. And then this one is called Lace. Um, I'm super excited about this one too. Oh, now that is right up my alley. That is, that's almost slightly gourmand. It's like a soft, it's either heliotrope or almond, but I think it's heliotrope. Yeah, I'm quite sure that's heliotrope. That's gorgeous though. And that's like predominantly heliotrope and I adore a predominantly heliotrope fragrance. That's stunning. I love that one. That's my favorite one. Definitely out of the three is that lace. That's gorgeous, so good. Okay, next we have some Penhaligans. Okay, and these are all Lucky Scent samples. I love these, I don't have to spray them. Okay, so we've got Penhaligans Clandestine Clara, which I have this fragrance and I adore it. Oh, yes. I adore this fragrance. I'm gonna send this one on to my friend. Um, 
I don't know if she smelled it or not, but I've been dying to smell this one. This is Penhaligon's Terrible Teddy. I've been dying to smell this. Ooh, it's kind of like a peppery. Ooh. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's kind of peppery. Um, I've got too many other things on my hands. I should have known not to even try because <laughs> I've got too many other things on my hands. Um, and this one is called Juniper Sling, which I love Juniper Sling. Ah, oh, Juniper Sling is gorgeous. Yes, it's crisp, it's bright, it's light, it's airy. I love Penhaligon's fragrances. They just don't last very long. I want a bottle of Savoy Steam so badly, but it's like, oh, I can't bring myself to pay those kind of prices for a fragrance that's only gonna last like an hour on me, but I love it. It's so beautiful. Okay. Um, ooh, I've never smelled this one either. This is another Frederick Mal. This is uh, Lise Mediterrani. Yeah, I've not smelled this. So I am excited. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. That's orange blossom. That's what this is. It's like a photorealistic. That is stunning. Okay. Um, we're going to be here for a while, you guys. So I hope you're into this. Okay. Um, next we have a by Killian fragrance. This is called Adults. I've never smelled this one. And I think the whole name is like, let's, let's, um, deal with this like adults and solve it in the bedroom or something. It's something big name like that. Ooh. Ah, that's another one, like kind of slightly powdery. Oh gosh, it's good. It's sweet. These are my favorite kinds of fragrances. It's sweet. I think I can smell some heliotrope in there as well. Oh gosh. It smells like some kind of yummy powdery candy to me. Oh, I love that. That's a good one. That could definitely turn into a full bottle for me. Um, this is by Mansara. It's called Windwood. Oh wow, that's beautiful. That is stunning. I don't even need to spray it because Mansara fragrances are so strong. That is gorgeous. This one leans masculine to me. It's kind of citrusy. It's kind of a beautiful citrusy, woody, like masculine fragrance. Really beautiful. So that is Windwood from Mansara. Um, oh yes, I have a whole bottle of this. I'm going to send this on to my friend too. This is Memoirs de Mystique from Eight and Bob. That's a gorgeous um, orange blossom and neroli scent. Really beautiful. Okay, we have got Parfum de Empire, Le Cree. Le Cree. This is why I love getting these packages from you guys. You send me some of the coolest stuff that I've like never heard of. I've never heard of this house before. It just broadens my horizon so much. I love it. Oh, wow. That's boozy. Oh my gosh. That's another, hmm. That's an iris fragrance. This is like a boozy iris though. And I don't think it's the alcohol from the perfume. No, it's definitely like some kind of a cocktail. Like a boozy, like vodka and iris. That's so, I know that sounds so weird. But it is. It's like a slightly sweet. Like, you know what it smells like? It smells like a margarita with some powdery iris in there. That is really, really interesting. Oh, I can't wait to look up the notes on this one because that is interesting. That, that's exactly what it smells like, like a boozy, like vodka and lime and iris. 
Wow, that is so interesting. I love this. I can't wait to give that one a good wear test. So anyways, that is Parfumed Empire and it's called Le Cree. That is super interesting. That's great. Okay, uh, we've got a Serge Luton's fragrance here. This is called Fleurs de Citronier. I have not smelled this one before. I typically usually really, really like um, Serge Luton's. Oh, wow. That is super, super citrusy. Yeah, very, very citrusy orange blossom or neroli. Neroli, I believe. Very, very citrusy, bright neroli fragrance. Ah, oh, beautiful. Really beautiful. Sometimes fragrances like this, sometimes there's something about fragrances like this that can remind me of the holidays. And it's really, really weird. But this is one of them. It kind of gives me holiday vibes. I don't know why. Um, okay, we've got another Serge Luton's here. This is La Couche du Diable. Another one I have not ever smelled. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow, that's like, um, that's oud. I'm getting something very, I think it's tobacco. It's almost, it reminds me of like a honeyed tobacco and oud. It might just be tobacco, but it's gorgeous. So that is La Couche du Diable. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. These are all fragrances from Lubin. I have never smelled anything from Lubin before, and I've been so intrigued with that house for so long. I've been meaning to get on Lucky Scent and order some samples, but I just get distracted and then, you know, I just forget. Uh, the first one I've got is called um, Jardin Rouge. Okay, this is gorgeous. This Jardin Rouge is a beautiful floral. It's like a very slightly, it's a very slightly powdery floral. It's gorgeous. I'm definitely detecting a little bit of iris in this one, I think really beautiful. I also get some fruits in the top, like a slight fruitiness in the top. Ugh, beautiful. It reminds me of something though. It really reminds me of something else. So that is Lubin Jardin Rouge. Uh, next we have got Lubin Idole de Lubin. So this um, Idole de Lubin, this is Oud, I believe. Yeah, this is like an Oud fragrance. Really, really nice quality oud. Okay, so this next one, this is Lubin Corrigan, and I've never even heard of this one. This one I'm getting like a kind of a smoky vibe. I'm getting almost something animalic in this one too. Slightly powdery, maybe like an almond in here. That one's really, really interesting. I'm definitely getting something animalic in it though. Very interesting. So that is Lubin Corrigan. This is so fun because some a lot of these I've just like never even heard of. Okay, next we have got one called, this is Agatho Parfum and this is called Fano. Ooh, this is, um, yeah, definitely Oud or something. I'm going to try and zip, keep it moving because, ooh, I've never smelled anything from Arquiste. I've been dying to. This is called... Um, this is called Anima Dulcis. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is almost like a honeyed fruit. Yeah, like a honeyed fruit type fragrance, but not really fruit. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like honeyed. It's like honeyed something. It's yummy. Okay. Uh, next, this is one that I have loved for a long time. Um, this is Papillon Artisan 
perfumes. And this is called Bengal Rouge. And this is a gorgeous fragrance. Um, I forgot about this one. I've got a tiny little sample of it somewhere. But this is like a really nice big um, sample. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is like the most beautiful spiced. It reminds me a little bit of my Eclats Diamants from um, Comptoir Sous Pacifique. But this is stronger. It's a little bit heavier on the spices. This is stunning. I have loved this for a long time. In fact, I don't know why I don't just bite the bullet and get a full bottle of this because it's stunning. It's like right up my alley. It's everything I, bless you boo. It's everything I love in fragrance. Oh, it is so good. I'm sure it's got some kind of floral in there. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So that is Papillon uh, Bengal Rouge, it's so good. Ooh, this is another one that I love. I love this fragrance. This is Santal Complete from Fragrance Dubois. This is probably, darn these people with their trailers. Okay, um, yeah, this is probably my favorite fragrance from Fragrance Dubois. It's such a gorgeous sandalwood fragrance. It's got like a slight sweetness to it and there's just something about this one I usually end up not really liking sandalwood fragrances because I'm spoiled from Samsara from Guerlain, but there's something about this one that is stunning. I have loved this one for years, and this is definitely by far my, my second favorite sandalwood fragrance ever. It's gorgeous. So that is Santal Complete from Fragrance Dubois. Oh, yay. Okay, next we have got a replica fragrance. This is Replica Coffee Break, and... I um, I got the Dapper Fragrances um, dupe for this, and I did not care for it at all, so I was, like, not excited. But actually, I'm excited to smell the real thing. Uh, okay, the real thing is way, way better. It's like a... I'm going to leave this out. This is weird. This is like a... Um, Yeah, it's like a weird, soapy coffee fragrance. It's kind of good, though. There's something about that that I kind of like. I'm going to have to test that. Okay, ooh, we've got, yeah, this is Frederick Mal, Portrait of a Lady. This is a gorgeous fragrance. It's such a stunning rose, like incense -y rose fragrance. It's gorgeous. So that is a Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mal. Okay, next we have got Ombre Leather from Tom Ford. Um, again, I'm not a huge fan of leather, but this is a really, really nice leather fragrance. Um, yeah, very, very nice leather fragrance. Like if I had to wear a leather fragrance, this would probably be the one. There's just something about this one that's really, really nice. It's... Um, it's like a beautiful smooth leather, but it's got some, it's got like a brightness to it. Yeah, that I really, really like. It smells very expensive, very classy, just really beautiful leather. So that's Ombre Leather from Tom Ford. Oh gosh. Darn, that coffee break, the coffee really starts to come out a lot more after it sits for a while. That's a good one. Okay, next we have Etat Libre d'Orange. Let's see which ones we've got. Love Etat Libre d'Orange. Oh yes, we've got uh, Jasmine A Cigarettes. This is a stunning fragrance. I love it. It's so good. I don't know why I don't have a full bottle of this yet. Um, it's gorgeous. I mean, and that's what it smells like. Jasmine and 
It's kind of like a smoky jasmine fragrance. Yeah, smoky. I was going to say maybe like more of an ashy jasmine fragrance. But yeah, it's like a smoky, ashy jasmine. It's beautiful. I really love that one. Oh, she sent two. So this is two of Jasmine A cigarettes. Gorgeous fragrance. Okay, next we have Zoologist. Ooh, and some that I have not smelled yet. I love smelling Zoologist fragrances. Um, oh, Zoologist Moth. I have been wanting to smell this. Make sure I don't have anything somewhere so I can test this. I've heard that this one is so good. Yeah, I've heard such good things about Moth. Ooh, I'm almost getting honey. I don't know if there's honey in moth, but I'm almost getting like a honey note. Ah, it's gorgeous. It's like powdered florals. Golly, and as it warms on your skin, it just gets gorgeous. Okay, next we have Zoologist Chipmunk. I've never smelled this one either. I'm very excited to. Ah, that reminds me of something, not of another perfume, but of some kind of a, like a, Hmm. I think that's got like a nuttiness to it. Yeah, that's got some kind of a nutty note and it's got something sweet too. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's got a really gorgeous, some kind of a nutty note. Hmm. Ooh, I love that. That's one of my favorite zoologist fragrances I think I've smelled. Ooh, and koala. I've been dying to smell koala too, and I have never smelled this one. Oh, wow. That is interesting. I'm getting something very distinct in that one too, but I can't think of what it is. That one's light, floral, and again, kind of slightly powdery. Yeah. I'm almost getting a little bit of a baby powder vibe from that, which, okay. Um, next we have got more from Parfum d'Empire and I've never even heard of this house before. It's a niche house. Okay, this is, I believe this is Osmanthus, Parfum d'Empire Osmanthus. Hmm. Oh. That's gorgeous. I can't really smell too much of it. I'd have to really put it on my skin, but it's pretty. It's like a beautiful, light, crisp floral. Next, we've got Tabac Taboo. Um, mm, tobacco fragrance. That one's gorgeous. There's something very, very comforting about the way this smells. Oh my gosh. There's something almost vintage -y smelling about it. I'm going to need to give this one a good full wear test. That's stunning. I can tell. Ah, oh, there's something about that I love. So that is Parfumed Empire Tabac Taboo, T-A-B-O-U. Gorgeous. It, that was like instant coziness for me. Like it was nostalgic somehow. Um, this one is Parfumed Empire Queer Ottoman. Hmm. That's woody, incense-y. That's beautiful. I'm really interested in that tabac taboo one though. And she says she loves this house. This is more, okay, more from that Parfums to Empire and she says she loves that house. So good to know, I had never heard of them before. This is Parfum de Empire and this is called Ombre uh, Russe. Ombre Russe. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's going on a to buy list immediately. I'm gonna keep this out and give it a good full wear test, but holy cow. That is a stunning amber. It's kind of woody, very slightly sweet, but not really sweet, and light, but still 
light but still cozy amber. That's also very unique. I don't have an amber like that in my collection. Oh, that's gorgeous. So that is Parfum de Empire Ombre. I want to say like Rousse, Rousseau or something. Rousse, I don't know. And this is another Parfum de Empire uh, Queer Ottoman. So we just smelled that one. That one is really pretty. Next we have got, oh my goodness, another portrait of a lady. Decant, that's gorgeous. It's a beautiful dark incensey rose, Portrait of a Lady is. Um, next we have, this is a tower fragrance, so Andy Tower, Tallow Blue, I guess is how you'd pronounce that, Tall Tallow Blue. Tallow Blue. I have never even heard of this. So I am excited to smell this one. That's gorgeous. That I'm I'm getting. Um, that's got it's either heliotrope or almond. Probably heliotrope. There's something odd in this one that's really sticking out that I can't really put my finger on. It's it's kind of weird though but not in a bad way. Hmm. It's very unique. So anyways, that is a uh, tallow blue from Andy Tower. And then last but not least in this little baggie, we have got um, a bunch of fragrances from Chris Collins, which I have never heard of. So I love this. I love getting to discover new things because of you guys. Okay. So this is called Harlem Nights. That's beautiful. That's like, um, wow. Ooh, I'm excited to look up the notes on that one. This next one is called Autumn Rhythm, still Chris Collins. Again, I've never heard of this and I love the name of that, Autumn Rhythm. Oh, that's woody, super woody. I think it's oud. Uh, it's like a bright, crisp kind of woody fragrance though. Really pretty. Okay, and then next we have got Tokyo Blue, which I am excited to smell that one. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I can even still smell. I've been <laughs> smelling so many perfumes, but I definitely can. That's gorgeous, that's like masculine, light, airy, kind of, kind of slightly aquatic, but again, woody. So that was Tokyo Blue. Next we have got Vidcormium. Vidcormium. Mm, I think that's got vanilla in the base. Vidcormium. <laughs> That's pretty, that's a nice one. These all kind of lean a little bit masculine to my nose. Um, okay, next we have got Sweet Taboo. Oh, now I love that. I love that. Okay, that's kind of gourmand. I love this. It's it's kind of gourmand, but kind of not. Something about it reminds me of Christmas. I think it's a heliotrope fragrance. The longer it's on the paper and dries down, the more I'm getting like this beautiful powdery, powdery heliotrope. I love that. That could definitely become a full bottle for me for sure. And this one is called Dan Salvage. That's pretty. I'm gonna leave out that sweet taboo one because I'm gonna give that one a good wear test. This is, this is kind of slightly sweet, citrusy woods. It's nice, but that sweet taboo, that sweet taboo was really, really nice. Okay. 
Next, we've got the last little bag here, and we've got still a lot to get through. Um, ooh, this is Mon, uh, YSL Mon Perry Intense Mont, and I have not smelled the Intense version yet, so I am excited to smell this. Ooh, that's pretty. It's intense. It does smell, there's something slightly different than the original, but there is something, but it does smell a lot like the original, just intense. But yeah, definitely some added notes in that one. Okay, next we have a Nest fragrance, and I have not smelled this one yet. This is Nest Wild Poppy, and I am very interested in this. Oh my gosh, I love this. It smells like, oh, I love this. It gives me um, Michelle Germain sugarful vibes. It's that kind of a kind of sweet sugary fragrance, but then it but it does have this really beautiful kind of crisp, sweet floral note in it. That's, it's just a fun little, I like it. It gives me sugarful vibes, but it's not, can't, it doesn't smell candy. It smells like really sweet floral. It's pretty. I like that. That's Wild Poppy from Nest. Have never smelled that one before. Next, we've got another Serge Luton's. This is Lorfeline, and I've never smelled Lorfeline before, so I'm excited to smell this. That, to me, that leans a little bit masculine. I'm getting a slightly kind of peppery vibe at the beginning or in the top. That's light, clean, woody. really nice but definitely leans a little bit masculine to me next we have i've never smelled anything from wilhelm perfumery um and this is purple fig i've never smelled anything from wilhelm so i am really excited to smell this have i said that about every fragrance so far i think i have it's almost like a peppery fig fragrance yeah Peppery fig. This is not my style of fig, but it's a super peppery, green, not at all sweet fig. Um, really nice quality though. Definitely good quality. So that is Purple Fig from Wilhelm Perfumery. Okay, and then we've got some packets here. Ooh, Juliet has a gun. I have gotten along with every single Juliet Has a Gun fragrance that I've ever tried, so um, I'm excited. And there are a few that I've been wanting to get my nose on, and I bet they're in here. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I really love Juliet Has a Gun. Okay, so we have a big one of Not A Perfume. I love this fragrance. I love it. So I'm very happy to have that guy. Uh, not a perfume super dose. I'm very excited to smell this one too. I've been very, very curious about it. Yeah, that's pretty. That's It's just like not a perfume, but it's more intense. Okay, next we have Moscow Mule. This is one that I have been wanting to get my nose on. Mm, it's like... Yeah, it's like a citrusy, super late crisp citrusy kind of fragrance. Lady Vengeance, I have smelled this one before and I believe this is like a kind of a dark rose fragrance. Oh, no, that's not. It's, um, it reminds me a lot of, it is a rose fragrance, but it's more of a soapy rose. And it reminds me a lot of my um, Lalique fragrance. Lalique um, Port L. Wait, uh, yeah, 
yeah, I can't remember the name of it now. Poor Elle, though. I know that. Oh, I love mm, one of my favorites from Juliet Has a Gun. I need a full bottle of it, in fact. Ugh, it's such a yummy kind of gourmand fragrance. Yeah, I love it. Um, Sunny Side Up, I have a full bottle of. I love it. It's a beautiful, creamy coconut and fig fragrance. Vanilla Vibes, I have a full bottle of it. I love it. It's a beautiful vanilla fragrance. And Lipstick Fever. I've never smelled Lipstick Fever before from Juliet Has a Gun, so I'm excited. Ah, I love it. It reminds me so much of Lipstick On from Replica, but this has got a little bit of a... This has got something more fruity in the top. Oh, I love that. I would love a full bottle of that. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Next we have, I mean, just the time that she spent to put all of this together to send over to me is just, I appreciate it so much. I can already see a lot of things that I've never heard of, which I adore. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is called Pegshi, 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 Ru, Ru? Mm. So yeah, Peg Peg She Rue. Mm. That's it smells like it's got honey in it. Mm. It's pretty. Okay, next we have got uh this is Lardasan T for two. Ooh, so many of you guys have um recommended this to me. So many people love this fragrance, so let me see if I can find, if I can find a place where I have not put a fragrance. Oh, that's pretty, very pretty. I'm gonna have to give that one a good full wear test. Okay, um, next we have another Lardasan. This is pa uh, Passage d'Enfer Extreme. I've never smelled this before, I don't think. Mmm. That's kind of woody. I'm getting that kind of cedar note or something. Okay, next we have got Master X Master by Monet's Palette. Never heard of that. That's pretty, that's a pretty floral. Um, another from this uh, O Detali. This is Jasmine Leather. That's a pretty one. Okay, we're getting down to the last couple of bundles. Uh, next we have a huge, ooh, I love this fragrance. This is a big, sample. This is Comptoir de Sud Pacifique Vini Blackberry, which I adore this fragrance. I haven't had this for a long time. Oh my gosh, but I do love it. It's so nostalgic for me. I had a bottle of this, gosh, many, many years ago, many years. It almost reminds me of candy or something. I love this fragrance. I'm gonna keep that one out. Uh, Kirin Nitro Noir. I have not heard of this one before. Hmm. Getting something powdery. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, uh, I love it. It's a beautiful powdery fragrance. Oh, I love that. Okay, next we have Histoire des Parfums, and this is, um, this is not a blue bottle, 1.2. Now, I don't know if I've smelled this or not. They have a bunch of these, this is not a blue bottle perfumes, and I don't know which ones I've smelled and which I haven't. Ah, uh, this is a beautiful one. Yeah, and some of them I really like, and some of them I really don't. This one's really, really beautiful. So that is not a blue bottle, 1.2. Ugh, beautiful. 
I don't know what is in this. I'm getting almost like a, almost like a sweet almond vibe. But there's something slightly fruity in it too. Okay, and then we are down to the last bundle here. And these are all Lucky Scent samples in this bundle. Okay, so yeah, all Lucky Scent samples. The first one is, um, this is Papillon Artisan Perfumes. This is Tobacco Rose, and I have smelled this before. Yeah, really, really beautiful, cozy Tobacco and Rose fragrance. Um, next we have Javoy Incident Diplomatique. Never heard of this. Mmm, I think that's oud. Pretty. Uh, Lardison Parfumer Noir Exquise. Exquise. Mmm. <laughs> um. Uh, I really can't smell too much, but it smells really nice. We have got Atelier de Ors Lune Feline, beautiful fragrance. I have a full bottle of Lune Feline. Um, Rania J Ombre Ombre Loop. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to smell this forever. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this on my thumb. <laughs> You guys, I've got so many fragrances all over me right at this point. I'm like having to put them on individual fingers. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. That's a beautiful amber. Okay, next we have a Byredo fragrance. This is called Accord Oud. I have not smelled this one before. Mm, Oud, an Oud fragrance. Next we have Fadon Tabac Rouge. I've never smelled this either. Mm, I'm gonna put this on my other thumb. Tabac Rouge. Mm. That's really pretty, very classy and not like overpowering at all. Um, and then last but not least, we have a Francesca Bianchi fragrance. This is Tiger Tiger. Never smelled this one either. Oh, wow. Mmm. That's like fruity and floral and honeyed. Mm, that's beautiful. I probably wouldn't want, I don't know that I've ever had a Francesca Bianchi fragrance that I would want a full bottle of. I did have a full bottle of one, um, but I ended up passing it along because it just wasn't my favorite. But yeah, um, that's a really nice one. That one's called Tiger Tiger. So anyways, guys, that is a whole bunch of samples that a subscriber sent over. This has been super fun and interesting to go through all of them. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.